Today I'll be showing you how I created this experimental typography design using Adobe Illustrator. Let's jump right into Illustrator where we will make a new artboard. I'll be using a 5 by 5 inch artboard. Feel free to use another size. First, grab your rectangular shape and click once on your artboard. This will open a new window. Go ahead and use the same size as the artboard. In my case, it is a 5 inch by 5 inch and I will align it using the menu button options at the top. Next, let's go ahead and make a grid by clicking on object path split into grid. Click preview and my grid will be made up of 12 rows by 12 columns. Let's go ahead and lock that layer and make a new layer. Now go ahead and grab your ellipse tool and make a perfect circle by holding shift. Let's move our ellipse to a better position. I'm using the rule of thirds here to make my design appealing. Now grab your ellipse with your move tool and resize it and make a copy by clicking command plus C. This will copy your circle and we'll go ahead and leave it in our clipboard. For now, as we grab your move tool and resize this, and once you're happy, go ahead and let go. Press Command F to paste the previous circle and make sure that neither of these circles have any fill color. Now, grab your Type on a Path tool and click on your outermost circle to begin typing. I already have my quote ready to go, but I want it to be uppercase. So I'm going to type, change case, uppercase. I'm going to go ahead and change the font and change the position by adjusting the handles with my selection tool. We're going to make a copy by clicking and holding the option key and dragging out at the same time. Make sure you let go of the option key before you let go of your mouse. This resulted in our text being different sizes. Now we can manually change the point size to match the original one, but instead we'll get our eyedropper tool by clicking the letter I and sampling our original text. As you can see, this will copy the characteristics of that text. And that about does it for this technique. The key is to repeat this step over and over and as the circle gets larger, stagger the text and copy and paste the text so that it repeats over and over as you can see me doing on screen. Again, just copy and paste and use the eyedropper to sample your previous text. At the end, I made a square the size of my canvas and created a clipping mask. And that about does it for our video. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please comment down below. Follow my Instagram for more daily content. Until next time, have a great day.